Hey everybody, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how we can understand the timeline, how we can work with timeline in ClickUp. It's really pretty simple and I'm going to show you the basics and then you can like edit it as much as you want. So let's just start. I'm going to delete this one. And now uh, when I would go on the timeline, you don't see anything here that we are going to build our whole timeline. So what I will do is just I'm going to add a task here and I will name it marketing ads Facebook ads I would select the list in which I want to put it I'll put action items and now you're gonna see it here when I'm going to assign it to me and then I'm going to set the due date this is the most important thing when I'm going to start the date click here and I'm going to add it like okay it's going to be from today and it's going to under 30 that for every day I need to create a Facebook ad. Now I will just close it and click save. Right when I'm going to edit here, I can simply click on the timeline and I can see it right here that from the 18 to 30, I need to do this. So yeah, and also like you can look and edit to I know adding the subtask here that would be appear in your timeline. You can add attachments. You can change the in progress review, revision complete. Again, pretty simple stuff, pretty easy. Then I get like progress here if I want to. It's like another tutorial. But what you can do is you can also see it by week or month. And you can see that, okay, in September, I need to do this. Then what you can do and what I like is when you go to group by, you can see it by status and you can see like to do revision review and what you need to actually do month by month or week by week. Then you can change also assignee that you can see that, okay, this is a sign. What I can do is when you're going to have like more assignees, you can like also insert it to unassigned. Or you can even change the days here. This is perfect. I mean, like this complexity is such a simplicity, right? How easy it is to use. Then you can go also by priority. If you have the priority, if it's going to be urgent or high or normal, you can again just paste it like here. And then you're going to see also tags here. If you get created some tasks for yourself, again, you can see it by that. So that's like really cool and really easy, really simple. But that's pretty much it. So you can see it also by custom field here. Or by list. But yeah, this is pretty much it, guys. And I can like add multiple ones here. So if I would be here and I click assignee, I can see it here that I got unscheduled tasks that I need to do. And what I would do and for me is really simple. And I would just like, okay, connect with investor and I want it to be here. And then I would just simply move it everywhere I need. You can also insert to multiple people. So I can assign it. I didn't want it to set it to complete. I can assign it to more people right now that people need to do it, not just by me, right? And that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, ask me down below in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you. And yeah, if you have any questions, ask me down. Have a great day and goodbye.